This is another of the series entitled Vignettes of Early Radiation Workers, sponsored by the Bureau of Radiological Health. These consist of unrehearsed interviews with scientists working mostly in fields that impinge upon the applications of ionizing radiation to diagnostic and therapeutic radiology. Well, there's one last thing that I, I would like to have you talk about a little bit. This is uh, uh, some, some of your pretty recent work uh, having to do with the uh, treatment of municipal sludge, of all things. We've gone from uh, the small uh, micro operations of that now to the uh, uh, water plant dumps and whatnot. What about that? I used to believe that anyone that thought you could use high energy electrons to uh, disinfect municipal sludge was bombing the crumpet. <laughs> I, would have, I would have agreed with you. <laughs> but four, by four years ago I was convinced it was economic and practical. And with wonderful support from the National Science Foundation, we have been investigating this both at MIT in a scientific way and at Deer Island, which is Boston's biggest uh, treatment plant. Uh, where we have a, an experimental electron disinfection facility capable of disinfecting or designed to disinfect one-third of Deer Island sludge. Uh, 